Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're ready to leave Lone House. We found the wizard here who was uh, doing some experimentation on a troll he named Dimwit. Looks like we've got everything we want. I think we're going to head back to Tuskdale. At least back to our kingdom uh, border and make sure uh, we don't have anything we need to take care of. Yeah, let's. We're so close. Let's just head back. Some of these resources I think we have not yet picked up. We should probably just buy some build points to be able to do that. Got some things being built here. I'm excited to see how this progresses. Uh, let's see, We let's go to the square. Probably have some stuff to sell. We now know where the troll's lair is, but I am not sure if we're ready to attack that. We may need to do some more preparation. We've got plenty of quests in our journal that we can work on. Hasif seems to be my go-to guy here. I should give some of the other merchants a little bit of patronage once in a while. All right. Uh, we can get rid of the sword. And we've got a better weapon for Amiri than this great club, so we can sell that. And we can sell that. I don't know about these torches. We're growing a collection of them. I guess we'll keep them. We can get rid of these. Okay, then uh, this stuff. Let's see. We read Bartholomew's diary. And. I think we read this. Temple of Roses, yeah. Uh, these books are all a little bit long. Well, let's read one. Let's whittle these down. Great Debates by Valera Ilio, publishing house of the Temple of Iomede in Origent. Today, many know of the Saramgamin order and respect its teachings, even endorse them. Such was not yet the case on that memorable, memorable day when an unheard of forest hermit came to a temple of Sarenray and challenged the high priestess to a debate. This was Avalo, whom none had yet called teacher, a traveling wise man who had who left Jalmeray in search of wisdom and found it here in Andoran while meditating in the Arthfell forest. The revelation he received was as brilliant as it was controversial. According to his philosophy, truth lies not only in venerating the gods of the good and order, and it's curious that while recognizing Aristil, Abadar, Shalin, Iruri, Iomide, and Serenre, he at the same time rejects the kinder gods of chaos, such as Desna or Caden, Kalian. Instead, he pursues the so-called wise way, a common principle said to underlie all the teachings of his favored deities. Avalos has defended this philosophy and debates with many theologians from various temples. Only a few of them were converted on the spot, but gradually a circle of loyal dis disciples formed around him. By turns, this circle grew into the order he calls Saramgamin, which means the way of a hero, or perhaps the way to make 
the way to making the world a better place. In this book, I recount the story of these early debates, included, including detailed theological comments on the central points of each side. Okay. Sell that. Got a couple more books to get through at some point. I like reading them, and I would, if I was just playing this by myself, I would read them. Um, hopefully, it's not boring to listen to me read those. All right, that's all of that. Just got cooking ingredients left, I think. Deal. And we need to go visit the storyteller. Oh yeah, this stuff. I think we can probably sell these rings of protection. We're starting to get better stuff. Same with these cloaks. And the bracers, let's just sell them. We did get this vast intelligence plus four. That's 4,000. I don't feel like maybe we should hang on to that. Um. give that to Octavia in case we ever decide we're gonna take her out for some reason um anything we want to buy I think all this stuff probably is not light light armor chain shirt plus two um I don't think that we don't want to give her that. I don't think more of a chance for spell failure. She's already got plus two studded leather. A rim. I mean, he could potentially wear. Something better. That actually has less spell failure chance. Although for him, he's mainly just casting healing stuff. I feel like we'll probably pick something up eventually. I don't want to buy that. Ring of Plentiful Hunts. Plus one bonus damage. On damage rolls with bows and a plus two luck bonus. I've never, I guess maybe she just hasn't ever died that we've never seen this ring work. I guess she probably hasn't. She's often like, times we have died, she's been like the last, one of the last ones standing. Uh, Ring of Beast King, plus two enhancement bonus to strength and dexterity. I have a really hard time wanting to buy any of this stuff. Seems like we're probably going to pick up things we can use. We're doing okay with what we've got, but we do need some camping supplies and probably some potions. I forgot we bought one of these Cure Serious Wounds. Probably need to have that equipped on somebody. Let's go ahead and buy another one. Amiri and Ragongar could have those handy. And Jethel could have 
couple of those. As far as scrolls. Uh, I like the haste. Let's pick up a couple of those. Until we can get somebody that act. Um, maybe, I don't know. If Deo could actually learn that spell. These uh, raised dead scrolls are looking not as ex as expensive now. <laughs> okay, did I scroll past the camping supplies? Are they down here still? There we go. I think we're probably out of those. Can't remember where they show up. I think we're out. Yeah, let's. 12? No. There. Okay. Says we're overloaded. Let's see. We are done in there. Let's no go visit now. the storyteller. I know we picked up at least a couple things. We'll check in at our table here. Onwards. My stories are calling for you. Have you come to answer their call? Well, I have brought some relics. Any worthy? Symbol of Torag, 800 gold, and token of the Dryad, and we're missing other stuff. I think that's it. Okay. Let's go check in at the table. We haven't talked to our companions for a while. It we should be checking in with people. I guess this might turn into sort of a companion update. Inventory management preparation video. We'll see. Okay. He's got three days left on this. We could probably just finish that up while we're here. These new the troll raids. Troll bands are rampaging the region. Somebody must stop them. We need a Miri for that. And then bandits outrage. Several bandit encampments have emerged in the Narl marches. They plunder the peasants, rob travelers and merchants, and even attack tax gatherers. These bandits need to be muzzled. And we need Jubilast or Amiri for that one. She's still got a while on the troll sightings. He's about done. And like many of these need our treasure to handle these projects. What about the rank up? Oh, that needs Jubilas too. He's a popular guy. We need him for a lot of things. Um, we could just go ahead and skip time. Since we're here, let's do that. We're uh, 
worried. Because of negative BP or BP per week. Wonder how we went into the negative. Well, we can we can easily fix that. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. There must have been, it's inter interesting it was 15. I mean, it seems like kind of an even. Something, we lost something somewhere. I don't think it, it doesn't let us build things without having the BP. So somewhere along the way we lost 15. I'd like to get our economy ranked up. So maybe we need to finish this out so that we can work on that. Got a new one. Enchanted Wind. News has arrived from the largest observatory in the Five Kings Mountains. Oh, we saw this one before. I, th I think we even did this one. I think we sent Jubilost on that one. Huh. So maybe these opportunities duplicate. I feel like we finished that unless we had to cancel it or something. So maybe the same, same things come around again. Two more days. Still worried. One more day for him. Success. The advisor was able to de determine where the fortifications were most needed. Subjects agreed on the wisdom of the decision. People collected money for a palisade and delivered the funds to the treasury. Economy plus three. Okay. Now that that is done, let's look at ranking up our economy. This is actually going to skip two weeks if we do it. So we'll already be pushing the end of this month. How much time? She's got about two weeks, so that would actually line up pretty well. She'll get done and we can put her on one of these other things. Okay. Economy reached rank two. Thanks to the treasurer and the baron, the barony's economy reached new heights. Oh, he finished up too. It appears that curses are a mysterious, little understood magical phenomenon. They can have devastating effects on their victims, but the source of their power is virtually unknown. Perhaps it would be well to keep an eye open for any other curses we might encounter. This research has increased our understanding of divine magic. So we've got a plus two to divine. So Harim's going to be available now again too. But we got a bunch of new stuff. Letter for the ruler. Letter was delivered, so we need to 
Okay, let's let's go back to the throne room and take care of anything that's popped up like that. Castle wants to talk. Your Grace. Okay, this is the, the letter from Ravoy was delivered to the castle. It was written by Fredero Sinet, a paladin from the Order of the Eternal Rose. It appears that Sir Sinet is claiming right to one of your companions, who was brought up in, this, in his custody. Well, I'll leave it to you to handle this delicate matter. Shaylin's Chosen. Show the letter to Valerie, okay. So maybe this is going to start a quest with her. Let's throw in a save game here. And then go back to her table. Mysterious cult? A mysterious cult promoting idleness and debauchery has emerged in the region. This dep deprivation must be stopped. Arim or Octavia can take care of that. We picked up another crisis point somewhere. I haven't figured out where those come from. We get those when we have success managing something else a nasty rumor a nasty rumor is spreading injurious to the baron's reputation it is said that Brevoy wants more territory and that lady jamandi aldori's people have already been dispatched to get rid of the local population and free up the lands for the colonizers We just need to deal with this rumor. We can put Tristian on that, probably. Troubled lands. This area of the barony is said to be a breeding ground for bandits, brawlers, and cutthroats. Perhaps one of your advisors should set aside these rumors and assure the people that the guard is able to protect them. Sign from above. The locals could use a reminder of the greatness and power of the gods. The high priest should hold a solemn ritual to show both the congregation and the doubtful that the barony enjoys the blessings of the higher powers. Arim has got to do that one. Amiri must be the one we need for this. She's just a one day away. That one's a problem. This is a problem. Jubilost could do that one. Cult problem. We might want to put Harim on that one. Since he's got the plus six. And then we have Opportunity, Enchanted Wind, Observatory, which I feel like we did already. Another problem, the rumor. Okay, I think Tristian's gonna have to go on that one. And then another opportunity. Another opportunity. Then we're back around. Okay. Let's finish this one out. Success. Our scouts confirmed the presence of monsters and local militia successfully eliminated the threat. Plus three to military. So that one's going to be ready to rank up now. General requests an audience. Okay. Let's go listen to Amiri. You don't really need to bow to me, Amiri. <laughs> Amiri looks displeased. Since you made me the troops chief, listen to what I tell you. You need more people. 
The ones we have now are weaklings and cowards. If we don't get any good fighters, our neighbors will smash us whenever they want. Just so you know, you should pick better fighters. I don't want to deal with over, overgrown kids who complain about every scratch. Don't take just anyone who wants it or else we'll have barracks full of pansies. What are we going to do with pansies? We need them strong and gutsy or it's no point. Open unrestricted recruitment. Anyone with the will for it is good enough for our army. We'll get a new project called Strength in Numbers. Select the strongest and most skillful recruits. I need real fighters. Get a project Talented Recruits. Select those who have ambition. Soldiers who dream of glory and rank always serve better. New project Ambitious Recruits. I think we probably want to do this one. And I think that's what she wants as well. Select the strongest and most skillful recruits. I need real fighters. Right, just like I say. No idea why I come to you. I could just do it all myself. Well, yeah. Maybe you should keep us abreast of what you're doing. Okay. Back to the table. So we got a new project to support the general's endeavors. Okay, this will rank up the military. And then... Talented recruits plus one bonus to resolving any problem with the general. So that would... buff up Amiri's work... in here. Probably takes her to finish, yeah. I think we need her for something else. We gotta deal with problems. She's she has to be put on this one. Sixty one percent. Maybe we want to use a crisis point. Bump that up. And the bandits outrage. Jubilast is going to have to go on that one. Our economy is doing decently. I feel like I don't think I'm going to spend a point here. Got 70%. I guess it's a 95. Maybe it's worth making this pretty much guaranteed. Probably, I don't know if there's any reason to keep these laying around. Might as well use them. Get started on that. Then we've got a cult causing trouble. This is where so Harim or Octavia can do that one. That's an opportunity. This rumor we need Tristian for. I think we're just going to let see if, if he can do that. That's opportunity, are there all the rest of these opportunities? The cult was the problem. Okay, so let's put Harim on that. Let's 
So then we've got a couple opportunities. We don't have anyone for that one. Or that one. Okay, that's fine. What about projects then? This isn't showing correctly. We must not... Yeah, everybody's busy now. We're not going to be able to do any of these. Okay. All right. Well, everybody's got their jobs. Let's look at our communities here. So, viewer Yorkie and the Chihuahua pointed out that I think I was looking to build a, a pier here, and it was grayed out because I didn't have any BP. Maybe we want to go ahead and build that for some more economy. Uh, I mean, we've, we're full up here until we can upgrade, and I'm not sure how we upgrade to a town. So let's... We do have some BP now since we skipped some time. Let's go ahead and put a pier in. I think we're done here then. Oh, right. Okay. Every three villages acquired, then you can upgrade one of them to a town level. Okay. We have not checked in in a while at our other village up here. Trade guard. This, Let's see, I think the, I guess I'm not sure if the number on the left of the value is that barony wide or just this one village I feel like it's probably just this village we do have three spots left here probably should fill those up got the tavern the herbalist house the shrine dance hall longhouse and Bakken's shop Our stability maybe needs some attention, but I don't know if we have anything yet that directly affects that. A brewery, plus one stability when located in settlement with a tavern. I believe we've got a tavern, yeah. Shop is plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern. Could put it in a shop and a brewery. Plus one to economy when adjacent to a shop. Could put it in a shop, smithy, and a brewery. Brewery doesn't have to be next to. Shop needs to be next to a tavern. Smithy next to a shop, and then we'll put the brewery. Okay, we're gonna, get, gonna need some more of these. 
shops. Oh no, let's see. Smithies 20, breweries 35, 55. Well, I think we're at 26, so. We need a shop next to the tavern. And then a brewery. Oh, I didn't. That's 35. Okay. Both of our villages now have got all their slots filled up. We're still worried. But I don't think there's anything else we can do about that at, at the moment. I think we're done at the kingdom table. Um, suppose while we're here, we might as well take a rest. Okay. Well, I think now let's take a moment to just check in with some people and see if we've got anything new to say to us. Look, we've exhausted her dialogue, it looks like. I will while I'm thinking about it on Octavia's inventory. Kind of miss having her in our party, actually. But well, she already has. But well, she has a headband of intelligence plus two. Okay, let's swap that out for plus four. Then we could sell that one. I guess we could talk to Jubilast. <laughs> That's you. How can I help? What are you jotting down in your notebook all the time? Notes on our adventures, good ideas that come to mind. I don't know how it is with you, but in my case, my mind is constantly producing thoughts and ideas worthy of writing down. Some I use in my articles and books, others I will share with the audience next time I speak at Foray Logos and Absalom. Some other thoughts should be kept out of the public view for a while. Our world isn't yet ready for certain revelations. <laughs> I'm fed up with you. Tell me about yourself. I've heard this request so many times. Well, as we're traveling together, I suppose I can give you an interview, free of charge, of course. Where are you from? All of Galarian is my home. I am a citizen of the world. Some might say my home is Absalom, that great old patchwork city. It's there that my books and magazine articles are published. And there I am held in particularly high esteem, owing to my vast knowledge. In fact, once I was invited to the College of Mysteries itself. But I prefer to think of Absalom not as home, but headquarters, where I go to plan my next adventure. I've visited every country worth mentioning in Avistan and Garand. I've even trodden the exotic lands of Tianji. I've seen miracles you couldn't even imagine. And in every place I've been, there was a home that would have gladly received a renowned explorer such as myself. The famous name of Jubilast Narthropel is known even in the most remote corners of the world. Still, where were you born? You know, the line between persistence and imp importunity is very thin, and you risk crossing that line. Do you think I haven't mentioned my birthplace because of my forgetfulness? I was born in Taldor, if you must know. The Empire is in decline nowadays, but still cherishes the illusion of past glory. 
It's a country torn by prejudice. In Taldor, my mind was trapped in a cage of restrictions, birthright, poverty, and their beggars be damned attitude. I left the country as soon as I understood it. So if you ever try to rekindle any patriotic feelings in me, you'll be disappointed. My first article in The Independence was about Taldor. The magazine was almost closed as a result of the scandal that followed, and it would have closed were it not for crowds of my supporters marching in protest under the windows of the publishing house, making its editors change their minds. You've traveled so much. Tell me of your travels abroad. I've written a fair number of articles and essays on my journeys, and if you'll excuse me, I haven't the slightest desire to retell them all to you right now. If you wish to learn about foreign lands, pick up any issue of The Independence and read all you like. I'm sure you can find my magazines even in this hole of a place. <laughs> I feel like this is going to piss him off. So you write books and magazine articles? I certainly do. I'm too generous not to share my thoughts and journeys with other minds who search for knowledge. Judging from your face, you don't belong in that category. Okay. Among my scientific works, I'd recommend the range of articles published in National Alchemy. If you prefer lighter reading, you might like Traveler's Essays or The Scandalous, The Independence. If pictures capture your attention better than words, page through the illustrated Atlas of Avistan. And you should give your cook a volume or two of my culinary almanacs. Trust me, it might help. We could give that to uh, RM. Some have tried to blame me for a sleazy romance novel called The Five Sins of Saren Ray. I have no idea on who spread these crazy rumors. Sure you don't. But if you like such frivolity, I've been informed that the novel's sequel, The Sixth Sin, was recently published. You wear glasses. Why won't you ask some cleric to heal your eyesight? I'm sure you could have figured out the answer to that question on your own, if you bothered to use a logical approach. At least I sincerely hope so. I prefer to think of you as a lazy person, not a stupid one. Well then, I suppose it's my fate to enlighten you. All right, there's no time like the present. Let's build up to a logical conclusion together. So, starting with the obvious, a cleric's services cost several hundred gold coins. Spectacles cost a dozen gold coins. So maybe I just couldn't afford to pay the cleric? Incorrect conclusion. I earn enough. Besides, some clerics would surely help me free of charge because they're fans of my incomparable talent. The answer can't be the money then, so what is it? Let's explore further. Surely you've noticed that I'm a rather famous person? Uh, well, you keep reminding us. Just to be clear which, cir which circles I'm famous in, my scientific articles are well known among the students and teachers of various institutions of higher education. My articles that satirize the rich and powerful are extremely popular among the minor nobility, traders, and workers. That is, among anyone who doesn't have any power for themselves, the kind of people who don't usually have enough money to afford an expensive cleric. Well, can you add it all up and find the right answer yet? Jubilas doesn't let you get a single word in edgewise. Apparently, he's uninterested in your reaction and is just enjoying listening to his own voice. My spectacles are something that unites me with my readers. People are more open to those who share their social status. Many of my readers can't afford to heal their eyesight at the temple. So when I too refuse such healing, I become closer to the people. My spectacles are part of my image. I believe I've managed to explain the basics of logical thinking. No need to thank me. Thanks for telling me about yourself. <laughs> Let me ask you about something else. We'll get to this stuff another time. You're not very friendly, you know? Yeah, we'll, we'll tell him that. Do you think so? Why ever not? If I may ask, perhaps you confuse superficially friendly words with genuinely friendly intentions. Believe it or not, I wish you only well. As a proof of that, I can point to the fact that I travel with you and that I'm talking with you right here and now. Tell me which do you value more, an artificial smile or an honest attitude, bolstered by friendly advice and assistance. Uh, I, I will be honest with you too then you've become rather too fat lately so accept this friendly help tonight you go to sleep without dinner yeah <laughs> that was a joke right well I admit I may over 
overreact sometimes. Perhaps my manner of speaking may seem offensive to some, but I'm usually right when you get down to it. And the truth, no matter how unpleasant, is always better than lying to someone's face. We shouldn't let such minor things as my manner of speaking or tonight's dinner harm our friendship. You've got a point there. Thanks for the conversation. I need to go now. Come back when you run out of clever ideas again. All right. Amiri is in here. Let's see if she's got anything new. What's on your mind? Nothing new. She's not too into the talking generally. Okay, well, I think, let's see, are we ready to head back out? Couple things we could sell. But I think otherwise we are probably set. Healing. Let's just check our loadouts here. Put one of those on. Amiri's got a slot for one of these big potions. Let's, let's trade out one of those for a big one. And a couple extra corrosive touches we can use. I wonder if maybe getting haste on him eventually would be good. We'll see. Somebody needs to have that, I think. Um, what else here? Acid arrow scroll. Let's give let's give him a haste scroll. I might use that. Jethel's full up here. Deo, yeah, you got the fireball wand. Let's take this off and put on the haste. And instead of that, I think we had a. Didn't we pick up fireball scroll? Yeah. I don't know. We've got plenty of fireballs. Maybe something else would be better. You can actually use the protection scrolls. So maybe we could throw a communal protection from evil on him. Okay. We're starting to inch towards getting closer to leveling up. Okay. Uh, let's we're gonna end it there. Next time we will head out into the world and I'm thinking about looking into this lost child quest. It's it doesn't give a time deadline on it, but I wonder if we need to be taking care of this before before the little brat ends up as a pile of bones. So maybe we'll see where that is on the map. Maybe head that way. Uh, probably get sidetracked on the way. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. I really hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye.